Hey folks, it's Ryan out here on the ranch in Arkansas. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about using med uh, medicated feeds in a well-balanced mineral supplementation program in the cow herd. A well-balanced mineral program is vital to a productive cow herd. Minerals should be complement should complement your forage program and the different minerals available in the soil in your area. The minerals we use are in a 50 pound bag and it's just a loose feed so the cattle can look it up out of the feeder. Um, and it can change, the minerals we use will change from season to season as the mineral availability and the forage supply changes. As we move into late summer and early fall and winter, the forage quality drops as the forages kind of dry up and mature as they come into late dormant season. And uh, so we'll change our mineral program up a little bit to complement that change. And as we come into spring, there's different um, concerns about grass tetany and uh, different mineral concerns as the forage is really green up and take off. So consult your nutritionist or veterinarian for the right supplements and uh, the right time to change your mineral program during the year. So I'm going to show you a little bit about our minerals that we use. <clears throat> this is a mineral feeder that we use. Um, basically you just want something that's going to keep the rain out and uh, keep the minerals fresh and loose um, for the cows to eat. <clears throat> minerals they often come looking just like this. It's just a loose feed. Um, it's all balanced in there and uh, will keep the cows healthy and complement all your forage quality. The product we use is from, it's called Vitafirm and uh, there's multitudes of different uh, mineral companies out there. You just have to kind of have to work with your vet or your local feed dealer to figure out which is best for your area. And uh, with this specific cows, it's an older set of cows and uh, I'm using a product called Aramycin and it's a chlorotetracycline medicated feed. And what I'm doing here <clears throat> is I'm treating, uh, I'm treating the symptoms of anaplasmosis in our cow herd. Anaplasmosis is kind of comparable to anemia in humans and it's transmitted from flies. And once the cows get the infection, um, they will relapse every summer. So it's important to cull out your cows in your herd so you prevent the spread of the infection. <clears throat> anemia you know it's kind of make you lethargic and the cows will lose weight and not be productive they'll stop giving milk and the calves will suffer um, by not growing very well so uh, we'll treat this uh, treat the symptoms with a uh, oxytetracycline um, kind of LA200 product and uh, kind of get the cattle uh, back in better shape weight condition um, bring them up you know, a couple of body score conditions um, and make sure they're clear of medicines. Uh, no animal leaves the farm on a medicine withdrawal and uh, then we'll market them um, for harvest or slaughter. And uh, that that just, you know, it's kind of the end of the line. It, um, anaplasmosis mostly affects older cows in the herd. Uh, don't affect younger ones. Uh, they don't they don't have, uh, show symptoms of it, neither do the calves. It, you know, only older cows will be affected by this problem and uh, it's transmitted by flies and mosquitoes so we'll have kind of have a, an issue with that down here in the river bottoms and that's that's where our main problems are so uh, that's kind of the mineral program that we use um, again you know we'll only use it on vets consideration uh, vets recommendation and uh, you should definitely uh, talk to your vet nutritionist or local feed dealer about the mineral supplementation to your program um, you know it affects uh, production it affects reproduction it affects uh, body weight gain and loss you know, if, if there's a mineral imbalance in your cattle and your fertility uh, will be affected. And uh, it's very, very, very important and uh, you will be a, it'll be a very good return on your investment uh, to, uh, to invest in a mineral supplement program. So I hope you all uh, take this advice, go in and find out more about it. And I uh, just thought I'd let you know, know a little, about, little bit about what we're feeding cows. We'll talk to you later.